Brazil. Oh, you are from Brazil. Yeah, this is, I was born in Jordan. Oh, in Jordan. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Do you identify yourself as Palestinian? So, how do you identify yourself? As Palestinian. Oh, Palestinian. Yeah. Okay, so you are a Muslim. Yeah, Muslim. My question is, why you follow Islam? <laughs> If you never thought about it, that is fine. I'm not trying to give you a hard time. Uh, because especially I have read the Quran, and especially when you are a female, I don't see an equal status in the Quran for female. I don't see it. Because in the beginning, God created only one woman for Adam, right? Yeah. Adam and Eve. So that means that then he joined them together in marriage. Mm -hmm. So from the beginning, it, God instituted marriage as with one man and one woman. But in the Quran, you are, your husband is allowed to take four wives. You see, I don't think that is from God. I'm just being honest with you. Right? And that means you are... Yeah, that means you are not equivalent to him. When he takes three more... Yeah, you could like have four wives, but there has to be a reason. Huh. Yeah. What is the reason? If uh, his wife is sick. Huh. Uh, uh, there's so many reasons. Oh, so yeah, many. Like, yeah. It's not like a, like a regular thing, like you could go marry four wives. There has to be like a certain reason. Yeah. Sisters, when I read the Quran, I don't see any reason. It just says, uh, take two or three or four and if you cannot show justice to them then take one so Quran begins by saying take two no. Quran doesn't give you any reason why okay anyway another one you were testimony in a Sharia court is half of a man right do you know that yeah in order to replace one man in the Sharia court you need two women Two women. Right? So that means you are not equivalent in testimony. You think about it. I don't think it is from God. Let me make a point about that. When you made a, a, a testify that I bear witness that Allah is God, that testimony doesn't count because you, your testimony is only half the value of a man. So just by you saying, I testify about Allah, that's testimony even not valid because it's, it's only half. You know, value is only half. Think about it. Man and woman is equal. That is why God made them, male and female, made them together. One man, one woman. Not one man and two women or three men or four women. When you marry, do you like your, uh, you know, husband to take another uh, woman to be wife along with you i mean there has to be a reason for him in case to do that. no i am saying in, there is no reason given in the quran i am saying i think he is allowed according to quran so that is why i would say when i look at islam especially about the treatment uh, of women in islam it's a man-made legion made for men for their dominance in the quran chapter 4 verse 34 Husbands are allowed to beat their wives. You know that? You never heard of that? No. I, you know, I'm going to give my information. I don't want to... Oh, yeah. I can, yeah, my email ID is there. My phone number is there. Mm -hmm. What I am trying to say is, you are not equal to a man in Islam. In every sense. Not in marriage. Uh, not in inheritance also. Your brother get double the amount of inheritance. So you are not equal in inheritance, you are not equal in marriage, you are not equal in treatment, you are also not equal in intellect, because in the hadith it says you are half deficient in your intellect. That is why your testimony has only half the value of a man. So in every way, a woman is not equivalent in Islam. But God does not consider you as that way. So you have to come to the true faith. Come to Jesus, I am telling you. Jesus gave dignity to women and made them equal to men. You know that when you look at the life of Jesus, so pure, so holy, right? Yeah. You know that. 
then that means if we have to follow anyone in this world we should be following this holy person because if you follow a person who has committed sin you will also commit sin right because jesus never committed any sin when you follow you will be following his holy way and you will be in heaven can i ask you do you know why jesus came do you know according to christians do you know what christians believe? okay we all have committed sins in our life right <coughs> god is a just judge god will punish our sin right like god punished adam right if that punishment is that we will be going to hell right you know we can come to that if you have question but god is like a loving father who does not want you to go to hell he loved you so much he wanted a way in which you can be saved from hell but same time he want to be a just god in punishing your sin jesus came here led a perfect life he had no sin he took the punishment for your sins so that you don't have to be punished in hell it's a simple message and when you accept that your sins are forgiven god will accept you as a child of god not as a second you know class person or less dignified yeah do you have a question no i don't have any questions yeah do you have any questions to me sister very important we that we understand each other no so read through that pamphlet my phone number is there email id is there i am not trying to you know put you down in any way but i am trying to share the truth with you okay Okay thank you I really appreciate you thank God bless you John 3:19 says and this is the condemnation that the light has come into the world and men loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil Jesus said I am the light of the world he who follows me shall not walk in darkness but have the light of life believe and follow the Lord Jesus and be saved from the eternal judgment to come